And uh, this could be just about anywhere. And it could be Tonga, for example, where I went on a Sunday and nothing whatsoever happened at all except to go to church. So that's all there was to do. Nothing was open. It's the most religious place. That's where I bought this. The most religious. I didn't buy it on Sunday. Most religious place I've ever been. So I watched a big black limousine and I followed it and went to church where it stopped and the king got out. So I went to church with the king. And the king looked at me and I looked at the king. And, and of course, Pacific Islanders love soccer and they're very athletic. Uh, I've still got a couple of minutes. I want to tell you about the Marsters family. In 1865, Mr. Marsters, and I don't know his first name, came from Gloucester, England to the Pacific and he went to the Cook Islands. He went to an isolated Cook Island which is called Palmerston Atoll. And there he had a contract to uh, grow some coconuts and uh, run a plantation. He brought two sisters and he married each of them. And then, then he brought a third woman from another island and married her. Now fortunately Palmerston Atoll had um, three corners on it and uh, he put a house for each of his wives on each of these three corners. They now proceeded to have, I don't know, 20 some odd kids. And uh, their uh, descendants still live there today. It's not a famous place, but it should be. It's one of the most interesting places I've ever gone because the people still speak with an 1865 Gloucester accent. They speak perfect English. There you see the Marsters family. It's a place that's very hard to get into because there's been a lot of shipwrecks and the people have a prayer. Dear Lord, we hope that there are no shipwrecks, but if there are, we hope that they're here on Palmerston Atoll. Because out of all these shipwrecks, they built a church, they built houses, clapboard houses. They took the benches off of one of them. They're the pews in the church. It's a wonderful little English style civilization out in nowhere. And all in all, there's thousands of marsters all over the place. And uh, the women are very large because that's the uh, Polynesian style. And uh, they sang a song for us, there's no girl like a marsters girl for me. And as you walk around, you say, hello, Mr. Marsters, hello, Miss Marsters. And everybody says hello. And they've all got the same name. <laughs> and... Uh, what we have here is a Marquesan making tapa, which you see right here from the mulberry tree. And the desire for material goods in, er, is contagious and all-consuming, even when they live in paradise. And these are some of the goods they want, which they call pea supa, which are uh, canned goods. And this leads to obesity and high blood pressure and all the wonderful stuff that we have in this country. And these are percentage of people overweight uh, people of Nauru, where they were mining uh, phosphate, had lots and lots of money. They could buy all the food they wanted. And uh, Micronesia, owned largely by the United States, they, uh, have, they have fast food, Cook Islands, and so forth. So that's a lot of overweight people, but uh, they think that's pretty good. And uh, everybody in the Pacific has a, a case of the I wants, and these people want a tin roof, and when they get that, I assure you they're going to want something else. South Pacific, about as good as it gets on this planet. And, uh, I look forward to going back. And ladies and gentlemen, this has been for me just one of the great delightful experiences of my life. And my sincere thanks to each one of you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.